advent calendars. We'll do the second half this evening with Mark. Just like old times, he's excited. Good morning and happy Vlogmas December 12th. It's the 12th, Maybell. She's already ready for advent calendar time, so I'm going to go ahead and get her advent going. I cut it in half because we already did that half of it. Oh, I know. It would just make it a little bit easier to handle. Number 13, Maybell, is you got a little pink bone. Let me get it open. Good girl. Are you ready? We gotta find number 12, it's right here. What did you get? Oh, mister, look. You got Christmas mouse. Look, you got a Christmas mouse. <laughs> okay, we'll get you a snack. I think much better than Kim Aid. Just my opinion. Okay, we're going to do the first half of our advent calendars. We'll do the second half this evening with Mark. Just like old times. He's excited. So today we are on day number 12. We're going to find out what's going on here in the North Pole. Yeah, get it together, elves. Get it together, take your vitamins, get your rest, because it's go time. All right, now we're gonna see what character we're gonna get a hold of. Maybe we miss Mrs. Claus again. I don't know, let's see if, we can, if anybody's there. Misty and Maybell and Fluffer Pants. Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. I'm Winnie Delgado and I love to be silly. We elves love to laugh. Can you give me your loudest, biggest, silliest laugh? Go! Ha 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 ha! That was a little <laughs> Ursula. I love a good laugh, don't you? You know what else makes me giggle? Better get going, but before I do, I dare you to tickle the friend who's closest to you right now. <laughs> Have lots of fun. Yes, Bye. I tried tickling Maybell, but she ran away. Mr. Fluffer, tickle, 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 tickle. They just want more treats. Well, we got to we got to talk to Mrs. Claus. That elf doesn't seem to be sick, so that's good. That's good. What, Maybell? I don't have anything for you. Nobody wants to be on camera. All right. Beauty Blast. That's a beast again. Beauty Blast. We don't have the chocolate one anymore, guys, because I gave it to Emma. Yes, I did. I don't have to eat that chocolate anymore. And you don't have to watch me, which I know... That's probably a relief. Okay. Banana Dreams. Banana Dreams. Are you like a highlighter? Do you smell like bananas? No. You cannot have a name like Banana Dream and then not smell like bananas. You're a loose powder. Loose powder. But does not smell like bananas. That should smell like bananas, but that is 
a very useful thing. Good thing to put in a, um, you know, like your makeup bag for when you're not home. So I don't know where to put these. I'll put them over there. Mini brands. I want that little makeup. Day 12. Oh, I thought it was makeup there for a minute. It's not. It's blue diamond almonds. But I think sometimes those shiny ones are like rare. So maybe we got a good one. I also am curious to know if everyone, every mini, mini brand, advent calendar is the same. It makes me wonder. All right, let's do the Ushis. Just not a great one. All right, number 12. Oh, there you are. All the way down here. Ooh, I think you're Ariel. I like the ones that are painted. Yeah. Under the sea. Under the sea. Oh, focus on Ariel camera. That is cute. And then we got Funko Pop. These are the blind bags. 12. Do you see him? I love Donald Duck. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's one of my favorites. He goes from like zero to mad in like 2.5 seconds. Donald does. Oh my gosh, he's so, so cute. All right, that one's a good one. That one's a good one. The Disney one, Funko Pop one is, is, a, is a decent one, but I'm glad I don't have to do chocolate anymore. So yay for that. Do my advent calendar for TikTok. I'm going to get that filmed. And then I've got a lot to do. I'm going to go through some boxes. Um, by the time that you see it though, well, I'll show you after I get it all out. But by the time that you see this video, because my sale, uh, you're seeing this Tuesday night. So my sale, it will be Tuesday during the day. But I might sell some of the things on Thursday. Thursday, 1 o'clock Eastern, I am having a pop-up. Christmas sale with Alex chapter two. So some of the things I will bring on Thursday and there's some really good vintage Christmas in this, um, the items that my mom had sent. So I need to get those opened and gone through and I need to create my reel um, for Tuesday's sale. So we got a lot to do today and I will, uh, I think I've got an eBay order that I'll uh, show you as well. So, all right, let's get it going. All right, I am at the shop and I had three eBay sales. One of them was this Coco Kind Resurrection Peptide Cream that sold. And then a, a goofy, one of those goofy 2001 goofy Christmas tree ornaments he sold. And ugh, some of the mixed spoons. I have a ton of these and I lotted them up. Did them in lots of four and lots of eight. And um, this lot of eight sold outright for $35 plus shipping. So one man's trash, literally. I Someone over all these years kept all of these mixed spoons. The infamous mixed spoons. And that was an amazing find. And who would have thought? Not me. Not me at all. So that was pretty cool. I've got a lot more to sell. Hopefully the rest of them will sell too. And then I did have a viewer reach out to me and they wanted to purchase the Hippo and the Dollar Horse. So those are going off to their new home. And then I have some plush I've got to invoice for. So I did go and get some more. One of the big snowman will be for sale on Tuesday. This is just going to be the easiest way because I've had so many people message me and there's only so many. So the big cow sold. One of the big snowmen had sold. The cow gingerbread boy sold. I am selling these two guys on Thursday's live sale. One of the snowmen, this guy. He will be for sale on Tuesday. Well, but by the time that you see this, that'll already be up. So you got a chance to get the other two on Thursday. I'll check back in here in a little bit, but I got I got to get it going because I am way behind on what getting done what I wanted to get done today. 
So I got to get busy. Okay, I just wanted to show a few of the things that mom had sent. So these are the things that are going to be available on Thursday's sale. I'm going to have a sale Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern on my YouTube channel with Alex the Cult, or with Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. So I've got a full set of the little uh, Napco Santas and a couple Inesco, look at the old Inesco label, Angels in one Napco one. I've got a little Napco, um, her, I have her, <laughs> a couple Santas. Look at these little Santa Cupie Napco, I think. I think you're Napco. Look at that. Very cute. And his little brother as well. Little babies. Some other pieces that are going to be sold on Tuesday's sale, which doesn't really do you guys a whole lot of good at this point because that was today. But I just wanted to show you some of the other things mom had sent uh, for me to sell these little candy cane guys here. Those are amazing. So I'm going to get the reel done for Tuesday sale. We're behind on that. So I'm going to do that now. And I got to get these animal, these crocheted critters, the crocheted critters. I got to get those invoiced as well. Okay, I gotta get, I got, I gotta get, I gotta get busy. Well, I listed a few more things on eBay and Vamp, and these sold. These little holiday trims, new old stock sold on eBay. So I'm gonna get these ready to go. But I did pull and get everything ready for Thursday's uh, live sale that I'm having with Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Coke. So I got all of these things ready. That These will all be ready on for Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern. And I went ahead and I got things set up. I decided I am going to have a vamp live sale. It's going to be Friday. This coming Friday, I am going to do buyer's choice. So I have lots of smalls that are going to be that you can choose from but that's going to be friday Jaden graduates from college this weekend and we're doing a little bit of a get together um, and to celebrate his special day but that way it'll get me give me time to have that sale because i'd really like to go ahead and try to sell a few more of the christmas items that i have i will ship everything next day so you probably will get it by christmas but maybe not, because they say that the 16th is like the cutoff date. So, we we will see. But you, there's still a whole other week before Christmas, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, so that is all set up. So, I think I am getting get, going to get ready to start editing some of this video. Um, that way, because I, I have a meeting tonight, a seller meeting tonight on VAMP. Where we have all of our sellers get gather gather around. They're sent a Zoom link, and we have a monthly seller meeting on Vamp because we want our sellers to feel very supported, and that we're listening to them and we're hearing them. So we do these monthly meetings, and so I'm looking forward to that. But I'm gonna have to get this video edited or get at least get started editing it. When I get home, we will be doing the advent calendars. Oh, you know what? Oh yeah. Okay. I do. I have, I'm going to sit down. I have a few um, Christmas cards that we need to open up. I thought I had laid them somewhere. Nay, I laid them right here, right in front of my face. Okay, so I have three of them to open. This first one is from Brenda Rotondo, and she lives in Buffalo, New York, and she's put some cute little stickers on there. This one's from Brenda. Believe. Look inside that little window there. Oh my gosh, Brenda. Starbucks is gonna be on Brenda. I got Cheryl over there too. I'm gonna write Brenda's name on here so we can do cheers. Cheers to Brenda and Cheryl tomorrow. Thank you, Brenda, for that Starbucks card. And she says, this has been a very challenging year for me. My health has fallen to the wayside and I had to resign for my career of 12 years can no longer drive. Oh my gosh, Brenda, I'm so sorry. You have helped keep joy in my head. 
Thank you for always being a bright light that shines so brightly. Love, millions. Wishing you and your family a magical Christmas. Hugs of plenty, Brenda, a.k.a. Metal Girl 1969 Brenda, everybody, gather around. We're going to give Brenda a hug. I'm giving you a hug. Did you feel that? Everybody give Brenda a big hug. It's been a rough year. I'm so sorry, Brenda. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy and I'm honored that my videos can make you smile and bring a little bit of joy to your life. So that makes it, that makes it really worth a lot to me. A lot of the headache, a lot of the mean comments, and I, it makes all of that kind of noise worthwhile. So thank you so much, Brenda. I really do appreciate it. That was very, very sweet of you. All right, this next one is from Joyce Ann Pelosi, and she lives in New Jersey. Look at how pretty that envelope is. A little tree on the back. And Joyce, ooh, I like, ooh, your card matches your envelope. That's fancy, Joyce. Oh, I can't get it out, though. Get on out there. Oh, pretty. That is so pretty. It says warmth in your home, love in your heart, peace in your soul, and joy in your life. Sending you bountiful blessings, Misty, for a truly special year. Thank you for making me smile. Happy, healthy, and successful 2024, Joyce. This is sweet. Look at the little insert. Sending you bountiful blessings for this holiday season. May you feel peace and fulfillment in all that you do. Many, may you be showered with abundance in all its forms. And may serenity follow you wherever you go. Have a beautiful holiday season filled with love and unexpected miracles. That is really, really sweet. Thank you, Joyce. Same to you. Same to you, Miss Joyce. All right. And the last card that we have is from Mindy. And she lives in Minnesota. This one feels like it's got stickers inside. Oh, it does. Oh, my goodness. Small joys. Okay, look at that little, like a little feather tree. Oh, my gosh, that's so cute. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. She's included some Christmas stickers. On my second channel, I get a lot of hate for the stickers that I get, but these are cute. Look at that one. That's a little angel baby. Oh, you know what I was just thinking? That This just popped into my brain. We've got to go this week and go get um, some poinsettias to set on Mr. Webb's grave. And Mrs. Webb, his wife. Oh my, ooh, look at her. These are like pin up -y girls. Oh, I like those. And these are little, they look like gingerbread houses, maybe? There's gingerbread house. Oh, these are neat. Look at that little storefront there. Vintage Christmas. Those are really, really cute. Mindy. Mindy says, hello, Misty. Here are some stickers, Christmas stickers to say, thank you for bringing joy and laughter into my day with your videos. Please use the stickers and blank card as you wish. Have yourself a merry little Christmas, Mindy Joy. I will definitely be passing the happiness of the stickers in all of my packages as package choppers. That was very, very sweet, Mindy. I really, really do appreciate that. So, so nice. You guys are so sweet. You're so very sweet. All right, I am going to, I'm cold. It's cold in here. I think it's supposed to warm up this afternoon, but it is cold in here right now. I am going to start editing the video so I'm not up late tonight. I could actually get a good night's sleep, but I will be back home. And I think tonight we're going to do calzones, I do believe, but I've got to get home and get them made because I, I have a meeting at seven tonight. So I'll probably leave here a little bit early, but I'm going to go ahead and get started editing the video so I can at least get a head start on that. But I'll check back in when I get back home. So I am back at the house now. I just opened up my mail and I got, I participated in the Chapter 2 Vintage Co. The Ornament Exchange. And my partner was, I mean, you don't know who you got. It was just like whoever you were drawn. So I sent in a, a an ornament and then... 
I got these lovely ornaments from D, the thrill of the thrift. I'm going to hang my new ornaments on my tree. So I'll hang this one over here. And then I have forgotten why I was out of town and I had said I was going to show you kind of a, a special ornament on my tree. And so I'm going to try to remember to do that often. So let me pick another ornament. So this is one that we went to the Bean. We went to Chicago um, in 2015. Emma got this one. We went to visit Chicago. One more just to kind of get caught up. This one I got this year. We went to Mackinac City and I got an ornament from my favorite place in the whole wide world. Now I am going to <coughs> mark sneeze. We're going to start on dinner, um, which it will be calzones, which is a family favorite. It's very, very easy. Um, and I will uh, get the tripod set up to see if we can get any footage of us making it. And then we will do the advent calendars. We have cheese and Christmas vacation and Indiana snacks. Are you excited, Mark? Yes. Yeah. Well, Mark wanted to go ahead and do the advent calendars now because he wanted to change. <laughs> he wanted to get out of his work clothes. I, I can't. I have a meeting tonight. So we are on day number 12. Not 84. No, not 84. This is the cheese. Is it here? No. That's 13. 12. Right there. Oh, it's got stuff in it. This is spiced apple cheddar. Do we already have that? Is that well? We'll be able to. Well, let's smell it. I we want like bourbon apple or something like that. Yeah, this. I think this is different. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Do you need to go get a drink? I'm okay. I, I'm not even I'm not even gonna try it. I'm not even gonna try it. No, we're gonna have calzones. I'm getting ready to start making them in a minute. Alright, so Christmas vacation? Sure. Christmas vacation. Did you say twelve. Twelve. Right there. Can we get it? Well, oh, I didn't show you. We got the complete RV. It came in three parts. Yeah, it was like weird. You had to connect them all together. Oh, and I think this is going to be the something similar. We got to make this stretch. This looks like it's going to be the base of the Christmas tree. I wonder if it's going to be huge. <laughs> you know, like their Christmas tree in their living room is huge. All right, snacks. Little full. Lots of that. Twelve. That's so hard. Oh, got a jar. It's very honey heavy. Very honey heavy, which is fine. Hardwood honey. Harvested by Ross Harding, Indianapolis, Indiana. Look how cute that is, though. It smells like honey. It smells like honey. Mm. You know, if you put honey on vanilla ice cream, it makes it into a magical concoction. That sounds really good, actually. Hardwood honey. And that cute little jar with the Indiana <laughs> sticker on it. That's cute. All right, we are going to go make our dinner. So I will put on a tripod. Mark might be in his pajamas. Maybe. Well, he'll be in a t-shirt and shorts. He won't be in his snazzy work clothes. So, snazzy. snazzy. All right. We're going to get started on calzones. It was pretty easy. Yep. All right. Let's go get started making dinner. 
So the ingredients that you need for calzones. You need pizza crust. You can get this in the refrigerated Pillsbury or this is just, just roll. You need either ground beef or Italian sausage. You're going to cook that. Mark's going to cook that. Grind it up until like it's ground hamburger. Until it's done and drain it. You need, you grind it or you pound it until it's, you know what I mean. You need pizza sauce. I like to do pizza, well my whole family, we like to do pizza sauce mixed with barbecue sauce. Mix the two of those together. Whatever toppings you want, we do pepperoni, mushroom, dad and I do olives, Mark yep. does not, yep. cheese, look at this big old bag of garlic I bought from Sam's Club. And I chop up a lot of garlic. Also pineapple and mushrooms, I already said that. So first thing you do is you, is you cook your hamburger and then you're going to roll out, well it's already rolled out, but you're going to put this on a cookie sheet and then cut it in half because one roll will make two calzones. So we're at the point where we've got one of the pizza doughs out. And this is a different pizza dough than what I normally use. I used to use one that I could cut in half. This one you can't cut in half, it's pretty much one. But you cut it in half and you can have two days worth of calzones. Five minutes kind of just check on them and um, you might have to put it back in for a few more minutes but you just kind of check on the brownness I like mine a little bit doughy uh, but you know just check on the on the brownness 350 for really about 25 30 minutes and just pulled dad's and mine out of the oven you can see they're a nice golden brown I like mine just a little bit more doughy but then you cut them in half and so you got half that you can eat tonight and then the other half that you can eat the next day for lunch so calzones with whatever toppings you want on the inside um, is a family favorite and i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog tonight thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it mark you back to you glad that you're back to doing vlogs? Oh yeah, I'm so glad. It's his favorite. He doesn't mind. He really doesn't. But thank you guys so much to watch, for watching. I have a sale tomorrow, so maybe I will see. Well, you're watching this on Tuesday. Remember, I'm filming it on Monday. You're watching it on Tuesday. So I have a sale on Tuesday, but I have a sale on Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern. And also Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern. So hopefully I will see you there. It's going to be my last sales until Christmas. So hopefully we'll see you there. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.
Hello friends, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.